So we like it like that. I'm sorry. Just way over my head. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, please. Um, can we fix the blanket? So, so weird looking. The camera show all the stuff. <laughs> Ah, the other way, the other way. What difference does it make, dog? This way it's clear. Now you're exposing Who yourself. Who cares? Like, honestly, what? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Tintu. Obviously back with another video. And we're back with the Great, great house, house conversations. conversations. Why are you saying it so fast, Bob? Good. Oh, you got a little... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. Okay, it's so really oh. today we're talking about when is it okay to start talking about sexual intercourse with your children, like when basically you, you can address it and stuff, like basically the whole birds and the bees talk and what age and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about mom and hear what she has to say um, and then you we'll know, get the vibes. Yeah, mom. So when do you think? Can I just put it out there? We never had the birds and the bees conversation. We have to learn from friends. No, you're lying. Yeah. You had it at school. They told you in school. No, yeah, we, we talked about it at home. Yeah. But then you came back and you... you, you, mm -hmm. you, you no, I remember. I just asked you about that. Mom, would you ever talk to me about sexual intercourse? And you said yes. And that was it. No, I never asked you about but anything. I just asked because my but friends... But then it wasn't like... It wasn't like because... I wasn't... We just never made the time to do it. Okay, so when do you think... Parents and staff should start talking about stuff like that. Well, I think at the time they, they, a child gets to be aware of the fact that there will be such a thing as puberty, as in parents and what it means um, when, as, a, as, a, as a, a female, when you get your parents, it actually literally means after that, if you do sleep with a boy, it means you can get pregnant. Whoa! Um, so that's when my mother decided to have the conversation. Oh, so you had it? How old? Yeah, but it was like twelve. But it was not. It was. Oh, it was very scary for me because it was like out of nowhere, and I I had just had my period. My, my first period was that. Oh, interesting. It's pretty young. Mm -hmm. I had mine at fourteen. Yes, I had mine at twelve. No, no, we're not talking about we're not debating. Okay, yeah. No, but we're not debating that. What I'm saying is, um, how. So you were 12 years old when your mom started to about sexual intercourse. No, she only spoke to me about it at that time. 12 when you so when, when I had my period. period. 12 yes, years old. Yes. No, but she was telling me that if I sleep with boys, I will fall pregnant, and she. I don't know. I think I shut out. I think I, it was the way. Well, the approach it, it, it always helps if it's very like conversational, like friendly and just mm. laid back type of thing. Yeah, like have a conversation about you know the risks, the risks. We we never had it. We all we were told was if we have babies, we're gonna look after them ourselves. We were never told I how you got a baby, how all of that happens. We were just told if you have a baby, you're going to be in a taxi, combari with your baby on your back. That's how, that's the third I got. Uh -uh. No, I'm telling you. I think that's what I got. The right age. I think Jay now is the right age to have kids. No, oh to, to have the talk. Oh. I think Jade Jade's mind now, in even Jadeja, their minds are more advanced than your minds at their age, I think, because of the times that we're living in. Yes, social and the media. Exposure and, stuff. and social media and whatever. I think it's time just to make them aware. And, and Jade is actually preteen. Jade is dying. She's in grade four. Damn yeah, it. that's old. She's really like. That's when my boobs that's, started popping That's out. the time. That's so sad. Where you just but you train. Can we stop the boobs? But what I'm saying is, you then start just making people aware of what happens. You know, Jade and them have actually had the, the period talk mm -hmm. because she came back with like a, a book. A book and a pack with pads oh, and pen, panty liner. Panty liner. So was shouting at so me who was using my panty liner. Like she was like, <laughs> <using it. laughs> Bro, Jade is like in this high. And like, she's talking she like, like, why would we use my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what they're for? 
turn down. Like, the, <laughs> like she, she knows, she's like, she's going to wake up to know, like, what the hell? she could get when she's, like, 13 and she's Like, nine. she's probably, yeah, I think we're late bloomers. I've had mine last year, so she's definitely going to be a date. Uh, yeah, I guess you guys are late. I wasn't. Oh. Um, so, I think, yeah. So, at around 10? 9, 10. Yes, that's, that's the you, safe to, to have that Save time open. because already in your mind you, we're preparing you because it, it could happen anytime. It happens earlier sometimes. Kids are really busy these days. What are you, are you talking about periods or periods sexual? Or sexual oh. No, periods. It happens earlier sometimes. So that's why I'm saying oh, it's, it's okay. Because it's puberty and stuff like that. So your hormones are. I don't take Pe physical People are exercise, different. But yeah. So it happens sometimes. Ah! It's sometimes no! She's going. Don't worry. She's she's going. We won't have to deal with her. So what do you guys think? Jada, what do you think about like when, when would you have wanted mom to have the talk with you about sexual intercourse? I think in I think grade one. Huh? Because like in grade one, people are writing sex on the toilet, oh yeah guys toilet kids, doors and stuff yeah. like that. In grade one. So I was I I was wondering well, well, what is saying? this. That, that sex, sex and I oh. thought sex was a bad word so I'd be like oh, guys did you hear sex on the you man sex you know type of thing like but then you never came home and told us about that yeah because it's I found that odd word. and I, I thought it was a bad word so I couldn't be like yo mom someone wrote sex on the door you know then you I would thought you were gonna like beat me you know that's why I say sexual intercourse work, so it's more like professional mm -hmm. you know <laughs> Type of thing. Beat you because you've come down. Ah, but, like, but to be fair, like there are parents. You know, parents are all different and stuff like that. So what if there's like parents out there that are like, if you even try to bring it up, like the whole. But see, why are you asking? Or do you want to be busy? Do you want to have children and stuff like that? That's why. No, what I have to say to those parents is, we're not living in the dark ages anymore. We're living in a time where children have to know certain things because. Obviously, they see them on television, on the internet. It's yeah, I can see parents are like, Quack, quack, valame. Type yeah, of vibe. Valame, but when you're not there, who says valame? Exactly, nobody. We are out there. You are not sure why do you guys tell us to close our eyes when we when I don't people know, are kissing? I never told anyone to close eyes. You do. Ah. All the time. Ah. When people are kissing, close your eyes. So, like, <laughs> how? why are we hiding kissing? Because, like, also, can I just say this? Like, if you tell us to close our eyes, it makes us we, want to see more. And we also want to see how it's done. done. So it's like, oh. we, won't, we won't know how it's done when it's our time to shine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, a, you should let them see it so they can see how so it's done. So they know done. how to kiss. Basically, yeah. Because like when you add that to know how to kiss because she's, well, I don't know. She can't in. blame anybody for that. I can't because you who said close your eyes. Who taught us how to kiss? Probably the TV. I was doing the, the worst when my first kid <laughs> was the worst. They would teach somewhere. Same here. My was like my first proper kid was in grade six with that boy, the, the, the colored boy that I dated for the year. I'm not going to say his name, but you know what I'm talking about, mom. Mm. Yes. But, I, and, but that was when he was leaving. So that's when we had like our first proper proper kid. And it was just, he was just a mess. It was a it was very big mess. <laughs> But no one teaches anyone how to, kid, you learn. How to, how to kiss. Okay, some people learn on YouTube. I have friends. I'm telling you, my guy friends told me this. Like someone, because like they insecure sometimes if they don't know how to do. So they, they turn to YouTube and they practice on their hands and stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know, but it's nice to have the conversation as soon as your children can like ask you questions it's nice to have such conversations with them and open up obviously you're not going to be graphic about it just have a conversation that a child can understand and without talking about the birds and the bees because that's stupid um, yeah i never got i never understood why it was called the birds and the bees why do the birds and the bees it, it was a way child. of parents not being like know, don't be too oh so who, when do you think it 
think it's okay? Okay, do you think it's ever okay for like, if, 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 let's say I came to you, I'm like, mom, I let, I lost my virginity type of man. Do you think like parents should have that talk with their kids, or because we're still well, living after in to talk about it after? Yeah, like let's say it's to done. come back and talk about not like what happened, but be no. like, mom, I'm not a virgin anymore type of thing. Should parents? Be open to talks like that, or it should I be think, a thing I think that if, if it does, I, I think if it does come out, probably it will be a very difficult thing for a parent to but find out that it's happened, but mom. it has happened. <coughs> and so, <coughs> we talk about the risks of having sex, um, unprotected sex, we talk about the risks of um, having sex at a certain age. Uh, because, look, let's say you have talk about the time you, you cried when I asked to get um, the, the, I mean, not the, 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 the injection. The, no, the, the I didn't cry. You did, I swear, mom, I'm not even making this up for YouTube. I, because I, I just, we're going off to the water, guys. I, it's not like I was planning to be busy, no, but I just, because I had, I have friends that obviously have lost their virginity and stuff like that and have had pregnancy scares and stuff like that obviously me i'm a responsible child and an ad but i wanted it to be a situation of i don't want i'd rather be safe than sorry and i asked mom twice and the second time i asked it was just before i left and she cried she said i mom. think i think it was the whole thing of i'm older i am not ready for you to grow up and be doing things like that. You must also understand that as the first child that I have, you are growing up, I'm growing up with you. I'm growing up to be a mother of a grown up person. So there are things I'm experiencing for the first time, just like I experiencing being I experienced being a mother with you for the first time. So obviously you are the first uh, experiencer of certain things. And obviously, it won't be the same with Jada and. Look like, go get him, girl. Here's a no. card. Um, <laughs> it's a situation of no, mom. I, you no. get. I understand, like you get scared of like the smallest things, like asking for piercing. <laughs> Jada does that. That has nothing to, to do with that. that. But still, okay. But what yeah, I'm okay. saying is, with JD, when she was asking uh, to go for an injection, nani nani nani. For me, as a parent, it was like. Oh my God! What is gonna happen? I'm not ready to be a grandmother. I'm not even ready to be a a, a mother-in-law to anybody. So oh, just I'm not even ready to be like anything. Yeah. Just stay away from me right now. Stay away from me <coughs> and my children. I'm not ready for anything right now. Don't worry, mom. Either That's them just signal. them growing up and them going to school, making sure that they they or just, securing the bags in other ways. Just know. as long as the bag is secure. Securing the bag. So, so mom, do you think it's fair? I think Jada people should it. grow up and go and live in their own places you and see, they make the their problem. own decisions. See, that's why kids, when parents say stuff like this, like you, like remember how we you, take it literally. Actually, you know, like when you and Baba used to be like, you only date when you're forty something, and then and then and then. Because you're scared of something. Yes, of something but you know like that, that. Encu indirectly encourages like a lot of kids to go be busy secrets and be. Like that's why a lot of kids are busy, busy people. Well, we were not re obviously we were not serious about you. Yeah, guys no, we know that. But and like when you and say also things like you you're not allowed to get something. No, but when you guys were younger, we used to speak about it. You had a boyfriend in grade one. We spoke about that openly. Yeah. So I'm just saying she I'm never kidding. came back and told us anything. I did. No, you didn't. This is what us. No, you did it. Not in it's not you told not us in primary. Yes. You've only Love told them. us now. Yeah, because this is serious. I don't want to be telling you my little busy busyness in primary. This is serious. You know okay. what I mean? Mom, I wanted to ask, do you <clears> think <throat> it's fair that boys and girls get the talk differently like you'll get? And I, I mean, I understand, like, in, to a, a certain extent, but, like, you'll get, like, me, like dads encouraging their, like, their sons. Go get her. Type of vibe. No, but this, does that happen in the it real does. world? It does. It's not movies. It does. Like boys will be like. I mean, dead. I think also it's like assuring that okay, your son's um actually a boy type of vibe. Like he wants girls type of vibe because you get dads like that. Like, yeah. But 
like but dad could there be probably be another um I don't know I I, I my son is five no so okay, I'm no. saying what I'm Did saying is I don't know how like I like our uncles like we've been very open about talking about when they were going to varsity they got a pack like your mom she's like Ish. when they were going off I can't remember which one for but it's like when he was going off his mom's like Ish, I wish I could have bought you. Confidence. Not encouraging him, but like encouraging say But that's that going to varsity. Yeah, um, yeah, and high school, don't you give away these things to kids? Cause it is. What I'm saying is, I don't. I, I have never had a talk. I've never had a boy child. No, it's <laughs> not the time, mom. It's not the time. Hello. Yo. Uh, we're actually recording. You, you are now goodbye. actually part of the recording. You better say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I'll, I'll call you when we finish goodbye. this recording. Good, good, All three. Well, it's, the TV is off, so we're not yeah, watching. Goodbye. We're recording. Good, good, All three. Okay. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. So rude. People not understand. All right. So back to my original question because I think I lost the plot a little bit. Do you think it's fair that girls and boys don't get the same? Why are you so rude? I'm not rude. It's just we're busy here securing the bag. Everyone is trying. Yeah. Anyway, do you think it's fair that we get different talks? Like, like boys will be encouraged to go have sex. Like, and it's weird because it's like okay, boys will be encouraged to go have not have sexual intercourse per se but will be encouraged to chase after girls and 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 and, and but then girls will be told stay away from boys but who, okay who encourages is their it, dads is it? and stuff like that and yeah, well, i'm boys. a mom so i don't know and obviously i would have a different conversation with, with my boy, son yeah. um i don't no, know but like i don't take know away how from you being a, just generally yes generally like, like as a woman i would speaking on behalf of other women i don't think there are women who say Oh, I think women would generally say be responsible to a if, boy. To a boy. And then to a girl's like close your legs. No. So you're telling but haven't, I ju- haven't we just had this conversation on the direction of be responsible as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. It's just that it it's 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 girls that become pregnant. Yeah, but my thing is okay. So we are telling these boys, go get her. Who are you going to get if you're telling these girls, close your legs? You're telling go get So you're telling so you're you saying I'm that once the guy says go get her, then the mama say, yeah, go. No, oh, I, that's not, I'm just saying <laughs> why are they told no, I'm not. No, I'm no asking, I think I think that is then? why it's not fair. I we think that be, is like, why the con they the the they are now <laughs> things where men, older men, have uh, um, uh, seminars where they speak to younger men. So that they can speak to them in a in a way that older men should speak to younger men, but in a responsible way. I don't know what those conversations are. I'm not a man, and I'm never there. And sometimes, sometimes women speak to women alone, and men speak to men alone. But there should be platforms where young boys and young girls. But I think that always happens. Young boys and young girls are spoken to together, so that they can, you know, they can, they can. In schools and stuff, we're actually separated, and I feel like we're told things that are contradicting what you are telling. Yeah. What you telling I the boys is contradicting what you're telling us. So I think that like, it should come to an end, and there should be uh, like there should at least be, a neutral. Yeah, time. there should be a new. There should be a, a situation. <laughs> like for instance, I would like to to start uh, programs where yes, girls are spoken to separately, boys are spoken to separately, but then there's sessions where together now, they are spoken to together with the knowledge that they, they come from, from the side, come from the side, and you bring this knowledge together. And obviously, both parties would know what the other parties know. So the girls would know what the boys know, and the boys would know what the girls know. And everyone will have Obviously, there will always be people who want to experiment and do and do funny things, mm-hmm. but when people are taught why, why we are saying be responsible when you do certain things, you are obviously the future. And if you destroy your life at a very early age by doing certain things or by by having a child when you're early busy. or by getting diseases and you're not even going to reach the age of 25, you're gonna die because you obviously sometimes people hide that they're sick 
and it gets worse and it gets worse and they oh. don't get no like STDs, STDs oh, and STDs. stuff. Some they STDs hide that. Aren't yeah, some they're not curable, and and Isn't when you're herpes? hiding herpes and stuff like herpes that. can come on your lips. Hey, so what are you saying? Like oh, herpes well, on your lips are not curable. But there's all kinds of STDs, See, Jada, aren't. and one is HIV. That is right now we don't know. There is a cure, and they're hiding it. <laughs> Jada, we don't know. Jada knows. We don't know. <laughs> I know the people in this house. We don't know anything. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, what I'm saying is, if if people are more are outspoken about stuff, then you can get help um, quicker. If it so happens that you know. Okay. Do you think parents should? Okay, you know a lot of people. Yes, in a religious aspect, it's like sex before marriage is a bad thing. But do you think like that doesn't contribute to children wanting to go have sexual intercourse? It does. It obviously does, and it obviously, in the in the Zulu culture, for instance, I don't know other cultures that do this, but in the Zulu culture, we've got um, the the virginity yeah. testing yeah, where they situation. Hold that up. No, not that. That's umklana. That's a different situation. Yeah, but well, I thought that it's I all. Heard, the, but I it's all stick if it falls. Then yes. yes. But, but, but what if it just fell because you're like tired, tired or whatever? And she, like, you know, that's <laughs> another so, Okay, sorry, sorry. So, sorry what I'm sorry. saying is, before that happens in September, yeah, where they all go, it's all the virgins. They all go to where the king is, and they're holding what is called umklana, mm -hmm. and you're holding it up. And this proves that you're a virgin. But Thank basically, you. what proves this is you che you get checked if you are a virgin by elder women who know what they're looking for. I know that thing where they open your legs and they look <laughs> for the eye, for yes. your grandmother's eye. Yes, they, and now, and if what they can't you your grandmother's eye, then you're not a virgin. You're not a virgin. I don't want anyone I'm asking, you, aside from religion, to but, think. But what I'm saying is it, that that doesn't happen only when they're going there. Mm -hmm. It happens throughout the year. There are certain times in the year where they get checked. And so if why you're suspected, you check and if you do you want to get checked? I don't like. I've always I've always thought that you guys were like you didn't even want to go to Mkana because I said at some point do you guys want to go there. And I'm you scared. Said, no. You held your boobs and you said no. Why are you scared? Because the king is looking. Why is he, <laughs> he looking at you? No, <laughs> but he's <laughs> looking at topless girls. Like, don't want that. Oh, okay. No, you can't speak like that about your king. He okay. is your king. I'm oh, sorry. Yes, oh. you are Zulu, aren't you? I respect him. I just don't want him to be looking at my breasts. He's person. not looking at I you. don't even let okay, my father that's not look the point. at my breasts. Okay, that's not, not the point. That's you. not the point. Okay, okay Mama, I'd like to go this year. Jada, okay, you go by yourself. Let's go by yourself. Let's go by yourself. Mom, continue. You're going to make new also, friends. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But what I'm, what I'm talking about is, with, 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 with regards to tradition, it, it, it really, it, it, you know, when you, when you've met someone, in, in the traditional sense, when that person breaks your virginity, that's the person that you should then be Spend official the with. Be okay, official but, with. but also tradition like doesn't in even encourage tradition now. doesn't even encourage you to lose your virginity mm -hmm. before someone actually commits to you. Okay, now I'm just talking about like in aside from tradition, like people that don't have like just in general now. What was my question? Like, what the hell? like, no, I was asking about like sexual intercourse. Mom was it? Now I've lost my train No, of social. I'm talking about like aside from the same thing. It's still safer. Tradition. So is it okay? Like, is it, it like why? Like, is it a thing? What? Uh -oh. Like, I want to say like parents and stuff shunning their kids if they they they're not. Let's say they've lost it before. Why is it okay aside from tradition? Why shun? What are you I guess it's a, a like, thing I, of a parent. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to put it together. No, but w I think it's a thing of parents. And parents, please feel free, free to comment and, and share how you feel about when you've discovered that your, your child, child is no not longer a virgin. A virgin. Um, and kids, please comment how your parents reacted. And how your, your, comment, your, your, your parents, parents reacted. reacted. 
So I think it's 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 a household thing. It's an individual thing. I cannot speak on behalf of parents. Okay, why I do they get beaten when they lost their virginity? It is would you beat me? No, it's a normal thing. Can, 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 I'm guys, we're all talking together okay, and sorry, you're asking you. questions on top of questions and I can't even respond. Okay, mom. mom. But what I'm saying is the whole thing, it's the anger. All we want is for you guys to go to school and get yourself a proper future. And if you're focusing on sexual intercourse before you even become a professional person, if you are a professional person and you're working for yourself and you're looking after yourself and it's under your own roof, no one is going to shun you or, or, or be worried about what you're doing with your life. But if I'm still looking after you, if I'm still providing for you and you're still un under my roof and you're not, you're not even a professional person in anything yet and you are busy doing things that are, are going to place your life at risk, it's going to get a parent angry, obviously. It's an obvious thing. And that comes from we work hard. We get up in the morning and we work hard and we get paid in, at the end of the month and we try the best we can to give you guys the lives that we think are best for you. And we get you food, clothing and whatever we can just so that you grow up and you become better people. So if you are not, it's, it's almost as if you're spitting on my face if you are busy focusing on other activities aside from like making yourself a better person like it's one thing when you're working and you're earning your own money but you, you're still not married and whatever it's one thing you're an adult you're doing your own thing so that's what that's why parents would then tend, tend it's like they're shunning or mm -hmm. they are they they they, they ill treat or mistreat their children when they discover that they are sexually active it's the anger it's like why why do you want to go there first? Why can't you just secure the bag? Sec yeah, make sure that your future is safe. Make sure that you, as a person, you you are also healthy and safe. And you know, when you start relationships, start healthy relationships Sorry. with healthy people. Uh -huh. you know? okay. With healthy people. Healthy is 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 like mentally healthy, mm -hmm. mentally stable. So what if you must mentally healthy? Then they must get help. Why That's are you, a different topic. Why are you? Jada. That's not. We are not sorry. talking mental health right I'm now. I'm so sorry. That's going to be a different episode. Thank you. Yes, we are talking right now. <laughs> to just to make sure your course. choices must 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 favor you. You must make sure that the choices you make, because some people are are pressured into having sex by yeah, either their friends. Maybe their whole squad. Yeah. Have, I'm not saying this is my squad. No, I'm just saying maybe their whole squad, especially like in high school, because that's like the ages where most teenagers lose their virginity is between like 16 and 18. That's like where the, the numbers are high in terms mm. of losing their virginity. And that's mostly because, okay, not the boy pressure, I don't want to say it's, it's your choice. Pressure. Yeah, but it's peer pressure, friends, okay, yeah. Yeah. yo, yo, this might sound wrong. Honey, mom, I'm starting to feel like what I'm about to say. But like people will be like, yo, and then that's how girls speak about it. I'm not even. No, I'm not. I'm not anything. I'm. But I'm just saying. Truth. Yeah, this is like real. in that, what and we, it's like yo, but to... my friend said. Now me, I also want to know how it feels like, and then you. But now believe you go. me, but but believe me, here's the thing: when those when those people have said that, and when they've experienced it, mm -hmm. nothing. There will be nothing else to look forward to. So when you have experienced whatever that nandi thing is, that's it. you actually won't have anything to look forward to. But the longer you prolong, the longer you prolong having this, and the and the more you actually, you you actually do other things, explore by 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 traveling maybe, get to know to do to do other things, you know, get to know different kinds of people, make different friends, travel to different countries without doing that first and just just that one special person that you choose to do it with that will be the the first time and make sure that your first time is not in a nasty way Mom, what if it's the thrill <laughs> i don't, don't know touch about the thrill don't i'm just touch. not that kind of person i i let's not talk about first of all when I, okay my personal experience is I was terrified of, of such a thing. I was Sexual intercourse. Well, I was like very, very scared of same, such a thing. Same, same. I'm like, I was like, I don't even want to listen. I don't even want to hear about it. So I was a late bloomer in that sense. It's okay. So um, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is 
prolonging it doesn't mean you're stupid or you are boring or whatever. Because when you've experienced it, imagine if you experience it at like age 15 or 16 or even age 13. That's it. What do you have to look forward to in life? Why are you looking forward to that in the first place? No, but it's it's nature. Eventually, you would have oh. to. But prolong it. Prolong it. Just you like don't, your even, first kiss you don't even have to do it if you don't want to. Just like your first kiss is prolong no, it. Like kissing is prolong the same. it. It's very So what me, me, that's prolong my thing. Okay. That's my, I think that's my closing statement. Alright. Just for as long as you can.